Welcome to the latest episode of Inside the Vault, Enterprise Bank's podcast series where we talk about items of interest to the small business community. I'm going to back away in this episode from some of the heavier political uh, discussions we've had uh, in, in recent uh, episodes of the podcast. We're going to talk a little more today about what makes Enterprise Bank and the Enterprise Financial Services Group overall unique. Um, as you recall, a few episodes ago, we talked with the Property Closers, which is one of the bank's subsidiary entities that provides title insurance for small business. Uh, what, who we're going to talk to today, or what we're going to talk about today, uh, is a component of Enterprise Business Consultants, which is another one of our subsidiary entities that su- provides support services in different areas to small business. One of the divisions of, of that subsidiary is Enterprise Bookkeeping Consultants, uh, which you know is designed to provide uh, accounting, bookkeeping, and financial support to small businesses, both clients of the bank and outside businesses that need that type of assistance. I'm joined today by Fran Perfett, who is the new face of uh, Enterprise Bank Bookkeeping Consultants. Welcome, Fran. Thank you, Dave. Good to be here. Excellent. So before we get into uh, what our our bookkeeping and, cons- and financial consulting uh, subsidiary does. Can we get a little bit of your background? What, what brought you to Enterprise sure. into this role? Yeah. So I've been uh, working in finance and accounting for over 30 years uh, in various roles. I have a degree in accounting and a master's degree in finance and accounting. Um, so I, I uh, was working in corporate uh, America doing a CFO kind of uh, job for, like I said, for like 30 years. So some things came up and I uh, saw this job uh, available and I said, well, let's take a little different turn in my career and hop over here. So get out from behind the desk a little bit and get out and see the clients. Yeah. So that's that's what brought me here. Excellent. Excellent. So while you're the new face of, of the division, you know, enterprise uh, bookkeeping, uh, Consultants has been around for some time now. Um, you know, the bank realized, you know, some time ago that there were a number of challenges that bank clients had with financial reporting, bookkeeping, and accounting. Um, and you know, we tried to develop overall an ecosystem around, um, you know, the lending and banking function of the bank to support those small business clients. You know. Me as a long-term career commercial lender, I see, you know, a lot of business owners that are, are very astute in certain aspects of running their business. They're not always financially astute, are they? <laughs> no, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> so, you know, uh, being, you know, a, a lending institution, we have a lot of um, reporting requirements on our clients sure. in terms of financial reporting. Sure. So, you know, having good financial statements uh, at the client level is not only important to the bank, but also I don't see how you can effectively run a small business without having your pulse on the financials. Absolutely, especially when you have a tight cash flow going and you would need to know, you know, your bank balance on a daily basis and, and, and getting good books and getting a, a good idea of what kind of results you're, you're doing on a monthly basis is very important to a small business owner. Yeah. And, you know, what we're seeing these days is, I guess, the the more rudimentary type day-to-day bookkeeping and account reconciliations and all those types of things. You know, CPA firms, full-service CPA firms seem to, in a lot of cases, not all, but in a lot of cases, seem to kind of be getting away from that kind of day-to-day, um, you know, mechanics and into the more consulting where right. we can pick up the slack, right? Right, exactly. I mean, uh Big, uh, bigger CPA for or even smaller P- CPA firms are uh, pushing that business aside. So it's out there uh, ready to take. So, Well, as we all know, Enterprise Bank, you know, was kind of founded on the concept of supporting, you know, startup businesses that, that don't have a track record, even businesses in distress. And, you know, it makes it really difficult for us to get involved in those higher risk profile type scenarios, a startup or a turnaround, essentially without having good insight into the financial condition of the business. 
because unfortunately, that's kind of the window into the business that most lenders and bankers have outside of their irregular one-on-one interaction Mm. with the clients. So the challenge that I've seen as a lender is, you know, a lot of these businesses need hand-holding, one-on-one hand-holding, and most importantly, at a at a reasonable cost because obviously they're either starting or they're in a bad situation or trying to work themselves out. Cash is king. So, you know, uh, how is this uh, program and the subsidiary set up to assist in those particular scenarios? Sure. Um, like you said, part of the mission of Enterprise Bank is to work with customers that are sometimes in distress or they're just starting up and have zero money. And in turn for that, um, it brings a sense of loyalty to the customer. An enterprise bank it has their back. Um, and also in, in our, our subsidiary, um, working with clients um, that we can bring 30 plus years and an MBA um, kind of expertise to these small companies um, and charge them a reasonable fee um, that they can't afford the, a, a fee from a, a regular CPA firm of 250 bucks an hour. Uh, we can go in there and charge them 50, 60 bucks an hour, um, letting them know that we have their back, that we want to see them grow because it's a joint kind of relationship. So that's how that works. And, and I like the concept that, I mean, you know, your people, you and your people are, you know, not necessarily outside accountants from a career standpoint, right. but have been involved in the in, operation of small, medium-sized exactly, businesses. Exactly, and involved in the financial aspects of the company and, and general management of the company as well. So it's kind of a real-world insight yeah, um, exactly. into, into working with some of these businesses. Exactly. we got a little of your background. Mm-hmm. Give us kind of a flavor of what types of support and engagements and projects uh, the bookkeeping. Sure. I mean, we're quite with. flexible in, in, in our offerings. We go from just initial consultation with the client up to setting up books initially on a new startup type of situation. Uh, we can provide bookkeeping services, um, no matter how big of a project or how small of a project in the in-house here at the bank, or we can do go to the client's uh, location and, and have a uh, sort of a part-time bookkeeper for them, which we would provide. My understanding is you guys also can leverage kind of the technology that's out there in some of these software products. Exactly. I mean, we work mainly with QuickBooks, and that seems to be a very popular one for small businesses. Uh, We also use Great Plain software and some others. So we're using that technology uh, for the the use for the clients. Um, So... You know, in terms of, let's just talk about the the very basic startup. What types of things would you get involved with in a in a pure startup scenario? In a pure startup scenario, without any experience or without any previous um, book bookkeeping things being um, set up at the company, the, the first thing we would do is go in and 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 set up some kind of a general ledger for those people, so they have a chart of accounts and and so they know what we're working with. Then we could go in and just uh, consult with them and see um, what kind of funds we're talking about working with, what what kind of accounts we need to set up, what kind of business they're in. This all comes into the play as, of the of the advice that we're giving them. Yeah, and you know, the bank in a startup scenario from the from the bank lending side, you know, we got to we really focus a lot on on business plans, and a important component of that business plan are are the financial projections, and even yeah. more importantly, the assumptions. Is that kind of assistance that you all can provide? Yes, we can. We can provide that uh, assistance uh, readily. Okay. And then I'm assuming, you know, once you've set up a chart of accounts for the client, how often would you, you know, be out there assisting the client with getting a good understanding of their numbers and right. actually the mechanics of closing out? Well, it's typically of the period that we're reporting on would be a monthly basis. So we could be in, in turn turning out financial statements for the customer on a monthly basis, given the chart of accounts, given the activity in the, in the accounts. So we can provide up-to-date information on a monthly basis that they can use readily in their business. And not, as I said, not just as numbers, but kind of a, the 
consulting or education for the owners behind the numbers, it, it, right? It, exactly. They need to know what the numbers mean, what the what the cash number means, and what their accounts receivable number means, and and this type of thing, so they can they can operate their business with the knowledge that they they will need financially. Excellent, because you know one of the big challenges I see for new businesses is trying to determine you know what level of working capital they need or right. how to manage their cash flow mm-hmm. better when they don't have that experience. Right. Um, well, and and, and typically uh, you know on a startup and somebody that let's say uh, just opening a butcher shop, they don't know what the the, ter- the meaning of the term cash flow is or working capital. So these are the, the kind of things that we can teach them. Excellent, and you can do that. On a one-on-one basis, sure, or over a group the phone, basis, on a or, group basis, whatever they need. So, I think an important takeaway here, Fran, is you guys have a lot of flexibility in how you work. We absolutely clients. do. Yes. Yeah. Um, which kind of fits within, you know, kind of the one of the claim to fame of the bank is we try to be flexible, small, nimble. Yes. Uh, and react. Right. Um, so, how about let's let's switch gears for a minute. So, established businesses. You know, what type of what type of engagements might you get involved with uh, for an established business? For an established business, it's a little bit easier for us. I mean, because they have some background of, of bookkeeping in there. Um, so we go in and, and see what their software they're using, what kind of software we might recommend. Um, might be a little bit different software for a little bit bigger business than a startup. Um, then we go in and, and, and do what... We do. I, yeah. I just go in and, and take care of the books, provide them with a, uh, a workbook, we call it, at the end of the month that would have um, bank reconciliations, it would have um, accounts receivable, um, aging, this kind of thing. And we could provide that in a financial book at the end of the year, also at the end of the month, rather. And that includes financial statements, balance sheet, income statement on a monthly basis for them. An important consideration because, you know, the bank itself has great relationship with, with CPA firms in our region. Right. So, you know, we're not looking to replace no. what a CPA firm right. does. Can you explain a little bit how we try to complement a sure. CPA? Sure. The, um, the CPA would have a relationship with the customer probably on a tax kind of a relationship. At the end of the year, they're going to do their tax returns. So they need information to provide um, them with in order to file a complete and accurate uh, tax return. So this is the kind of uh, things that we would complement the CPA firm with. They don't want a big shoe, uh, shoe box at the end of the year <laughs> with receipts. Um, we would provide them with, with the, the necessary financial statements that they need to, in order to complete the tax return. So that's a big complement that we provide. So basically, again, client at a lower cost, uh, can work with us to do the grunt work, let's call it. Yeah, exactly. Um, to to feed to the CPA at year end. Right. Uh, either for formal financial statements or tax returns. Correct. Another thing I was just thinking about, Fran, is beyond the tax returns, you know, for the largest businesses or the riskiest business, not only that Enterprise Bank deals with, but that you know, most commercial lenders deal with, they may require... Uh, from a lender reporting or even a shareholder reporting an ownership reporting perspective, higher level financial statements, whether those be reviewed financials or at the ultimate level audited financials. You know, my understanding is when you get to that level of financial reporting, the CPA firm that is providing those reviewed or audited statements needs to be needs to be independent. That's correct. Yeah. From the actual uh, bookkeeping provider. Right. Um, to issue a, a, a qualified opinion. Right, That's exactly. Right. So, yeah, so it's another way that the, our firm uh, does the services and complements what the CPA is doing. It's maintaining that independence because we can come in and do the books independently of, of the CPA firm and provide them with that information that they needed at, at year end to provide an a, opinion on these financial statements. So, you know, we all know that the the 900-pound gorilla when it comes to, you know, uh, bookkeeping and accounting products for small businesses, QuickBooks. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming that's a major, major focus of, of what uh, you all are going to be using kind of as a, as a product. Exactly. But you, you also have the ability to handle or have some experience with 
other types of accounting systems. Yes, we do. Um, but QuickBooks, like I said earlier, is the main one out there that people are using. But we can uh, pretty much learn other uh, software products pretty pretty quickly. So it's not an issue for us. So can you you kind of give us a, f- a flavor of, of some of the um, types of scenarios that you guys work in on a regular basis, different types of clients, different types of levels of engagement? That sure, type of thing. sure. We have um, quite a few clients that are in um, property development and property management. Um, we go from there all the way to small restaurants, pizza huts. Um, we also have a client that's uh, a butcher shop. So it's really all spectrum of all the small business. We really don't shy away from anything. So the one thing you just hit on, I think is interesting because, you know, the bank has a lot of clients that are involved in investment, real estate, right. property management, real estate development. Mm-hmm. So what types of things can you do for, let's, let's call it, in real estate professionals or landlords and those types of things? Um, we have the software in-house to do the accounting work for them. So we have some exp- expertise in that. And we have a uh, uh, one of my colleagues here is she has many years of experience in property management, doing the bookkeeping for them. So we have some expertise in how to, uh, to, to lend to them. Okay, that's that's a, actually a great segue. I meant to ask you, wh- who's the rest of the team? Oh, okay, we have uh, Debbie Kirk, who's actually in our Indiana office, been with the uh, the bank for many years. And we have Annette Studney, who's come from, uh, like I said, some um, property management firm who did some bookkeeping for various uh, companies within that firm. So she's been with us uh, probably about three or four months. Excellent. Yeah. So, and my understanding is, you know, you have not only some, you know, some very small businesses like Butcher Shop, you mentioned, right. which I happen to be familiar with, it's a relatively new venture, mm-hmm. but you do some sizable companies too that you guys do work with, right? Yes, we do. Um, we have one property management firm that's quite large that has a quite big portfolio of, of, uh, of properties that we work with. Well, considering everything that, you know, that your group has to offer, uh, and again, I want to make sure everybody understands this is not just for bank clients. This, is, you know, is designed for small businesses in general. So how does a small business that has a need for this type of bookkeeping service or this type of financial consulting get in touch with you? They can either give me a call or send me an email. My uh, phone number is 412-952-0506 or an email at fperfett at enterprisebankpgh.com. Can you spell that for us? (laughs) (laughs) Your your surname. Oh, my surname. It's F-P-E-R-F-E-T-T. At enterprisebank. PGH.com. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks so much. Okay. Thank you. Looking Dave. forward to working with you in, in your new venture. Oh, thank uh, you. And, and, you know, growing our, uh, one of our subsidiaries, it's really important to the core banking business yeah. we do. For those of you that have ideas or questions um, about future episodes of Inside the Vault, you can email us at inside the vault at enterprisebankpgh.com. And you can check us out on all the major podcast platforms in audio format and in video format on YouTube. Thank you very much. Mm.